Hello out there, Busters. Um, this is my tutorial for the Taco Belly Cyclotron upgrade. This is for the Spirit 85% uh, pack. We just had the um, full size, I think they call it life size pack release recently. Um, so I plan to do the same thing with the life size, but uh, hopefully what I learned today um, will translate to that very well. This is my first time doing this upgrade, um, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, currently, you can see I've got the bottom half of the pack um, you know, fully disassembled, all the pieces are out. Um, and then I've put a piece of tape and marked a cut line for myself around the side just to help kind of ensure that I don't cut too much off because I know that's been a, a problem with some folks uh, online. So uh, I'll do that and then uh, finish it out uh, probably by hand. Uh, and so for the cut using this Dremel tool, this win off brand, uh, hopefully it works out. Um, just to run through some of the hardware and I maybe I'll reiterate it later, but um, connecting, I think this is called an in filter piece. I think so. Um, will be these M3 uh, by eights. That's what's going to connect those pieces there through those holes. Um, and then this uh, spacer piece, which is going to help secure the new um, cyclotron to this this base uh, that that's going in with these um, M3 by 12s. Um, when the time comes and we get to the bumper, uh, which I'm still preparing, you can see some sanding and priming needs to happen here. But that's attached through these holes here, um, and that's going to be with these. Uh, got these socket caps. Black uh, M5 12 mil, and then just some matching uh, nylon lock nuts. Um, so I think that's it. Once again, uh, this is the Taco Belly 85% uh, Cyclotron upgrade. So far, I've been impressed with the prints. Um, still got some finishing work there, but figured we could go ahead and get into this upgrade and see how it goes. So um, safety first, we go ahead and get those on and then um, let's see how this goes. Okay, so uh, we got it off, as you can see there. Um, I got I got close close to that line, um, but you know the point is that uh, you know leaving room for error, right? And so now um, the goal is going to be to take this profile all the way down to the edge of this of this tape, right? So um, that's still a decent amount of uh, material to remove. So uh, I've elected to swap out to this uh, little drum sanding bit uh, to knock this down a little bit faster and then uh, then I'll finish that off by hand so let's do that
Okay, so after removing the tape and um, a little cleanup, just getting some of the burrs off and whatnot, I'm pretty happy with, um, let's see if I can get it to focus, that I'm pretty happy with that lip. And so I'm going to switch over to uh, the sanding block. And so this is, um, I believe, 60 grit. So it should be pretty aggressive and pull most of this off. And then maybe I'll switch to, um, you know, a higher higher grit, be a little more gentle with it. But for now, I still got a, some, a good, decent amount to get off, but I don't trust the Dremel or the rotary tool. Um, for this job. So uh, I'll do that off camera and come back and hopefully we'll have a nice clean plane across the top edge here. Alrighty, so that made a pretty big mess, but I think I got it, most of it cleaned up. Um, I will show, here's the new profile uh, on the bottom half of the uh, cyclotron area here. Uh, you can see how it's pretty clean all the way at top, all the way across the top, and then it's a little scuffed right from the uh, sandpaper there. Uh, learning moment uh, in retrospect when this frame is, this little framing piece is added in, that lip was right here on the edge. So technically, not required to sand down the whole thing. Maybe a little extra effort there. I think next time I'll just use that drum sander and come all the way down. Even if it cuts into that lip a little extra, you know, when you're mounting it, it's not using that material anyway. So um, first lesson learned with this one. So next up is I think I'm going to secure this piece with some clamps, drill some holes, get the screws in so that it's down. Um, not sure if I'm going to glue this in or not. Pro probably will, yes. Um, and then at that point um, I'll look at trimming some of this extra material on the side here. So I know this, some of this stuff has to come off um, so that you can, you know, slip the bumper over the side and then secure those uh, two screws, right, uh, into the side. So um, with that said, let's make these two pieces uh, one now.
so we're back. Um, glue is dried, and I think you can see the inside here. Um, pretty good coverage with that plastic bonder, so that thing is not coming off. Um, at this point, I think I will pull these screws out. We'll do a test fit of the cover. I'm guessing that I'm going to need to bore these holes out a little bit. So I've got that um, 5 sixty-fourths bit over there ready to go. Um, and so we should end up with something like that when it comes together. Um, so let's try to do that. got the cover attached now this is just with screws there's no glue or anything in here which it's actually quite tight so I don't know if I'll need to do any glue or anything else on this um, I might just leave it as is uh, and do maybe a little maybe a little bondo some sandable primer and then call that uh, that part of it uh, done um, I will say, you know, as you saw, I, you know, it's okay to use, I would say, a drill or something, but when you get close to flush with these, um, I would go ahead and switch over to just like the um, hand uh, screwdriver just to tighten those down to get them as close uh, as you dare uh, without stripping things out. So, um, so I think we're moving along pretty well. I think uh, at this point, uh, I'd like to go ahead and clean up the edges here. Um, so I will get after that, um, probably with the combination of Dremel tool and sandpaper, um, just to kind of flush that edge out um, straight down. And then let's see if we can fit the, um, the bumper on here. So. Let's do that. material removed from the side you can see the new profile there on that side and here on the other 
Next step is to get the bumper attached. Uh, I will say off camera, I bored these holes just a little bit to get the filament stuff out of there. That was a quarter inch bit. Um, I'm a little concerned whenever I you know, drill these in um, with the matching nuts that that quarter inch bit might be a little too big. Uh, so I'm actually going to start with a uh, 3 16 and uh, hopefully that is enough to get um, the screw and all the threads through. Uh, it'll be a little bit tighter fit that way. So um, let's try that. Uh, here we go. Coming along nicely, uh, I was going to tighten down these uh, screws, but there's no need because that's coming off eventually for finishing anyway. So, um, just for effect, you can see all four like this. And I will say that 3 16 inch bit uh, for these holes was perfect. I would recommend that. Uh, it had a good amount of pull uh, just going in and then with the nuts on there, uh, that'll be plenty strong. So, next up, let's go ahead and get the um, the in filter attached here. You can see on the filter itself, it's got one, two, three, four holes, and then uh, you can see the matching four on the inside. So, I'll go ahead and get that attached again with the M3 by eights. Here we go. it on. Uh, it is secured. Um, I will say that was one of the more difficult tasks with this install. Um, right now there's only two screws in there. You can attach it with four. You can see there's the other hole there on the, from the inside. So you can get... you can secure it with four, um, but the, uh, the room to do this is difficult, so I, I don't know if there's a better way but this is how I got mine in with this kind of bent screwdriver that I had maybe I would suggest swapping those out for those screws out for like hex heads or something that would turn a little easier uh, in that tight space um, but either way I'm gonna say uh, this uh, this tutorial this upgrade is done the rest of its finished work uh, you know these uh, lens covers came with it. Uh, I'll need to finish those out, get them kind of glued in there. Um, of course the cap for this bumper, get that installed. But other than that, I'm gonna say say done. Um, so like, share, uh, hopefully this is useful to you guys and gals. Um, and, uh, you know, let me know if I did something uh, that was wrong. <laughs>
or if uh, there was a more efficient way to do this. So until next time, take it easy.